So, to explain to you guys the rules for this show match, we are doing no repeat leader, but node strat is allowed. So, El Hechi Zero loves his node strat, and he is looking to do that right away here. And he is harassing super hard at the start, really bullying Almirante's grunts. And this is a shipmaster mirror, so <laughs> a lot can happen. We have a triple pad opener from Almirante. You don't typically see that very much these days. And it looks like we have same from same from Hetchy. No one has bought any gen yet. But Hetchy does have cloak grunts now, so he's gonna start node shredding here shortly. And Hetchy sees this no this mini base coming and he picks it up just in time. No fourth building for Hetchy. Gen coming up for Almirante. Another pad for Hetchy. So we're going to be going for minutes here without Gens. But he is looking to node strat, so he will have some power coming in. But these only give you 1.5 power a second. So they don't compete with generators very well. But they will give him some supplemental power until he gets online. And Almirante is upgrading his generator right now. He's got a three mini base by. Looks like he's going to get four mini bases. So, despite El Hechi Zero's four pad opener, it looks like he's going to have less pads than, uh, than Almirante here. Yeah, I couldn't get the best. If, uh, if there's a mod in chat, Vex, if you're here, um, someone mod, can we get some a poll going? I was unable to get it going in time. Let me. Um, Varenti's in chat, maybe. Sorry guys, started a little quickly here. Oftentimes in these shipmaster mirrors, you will see a ghost uh, spam a lot, just because no one has grunt mine, <laughs> and it's counters detect, and shipmaster can also capture the nodes with the ghost too, with the raid too. So you'll see that happen a lot. But we're seeing lots of nodes for red here. And just to reiterate, if you're just joining, node strat is not banned for this series. Both players agreed. The only rule is there is no repeat of leaders, so. And the loser will actually be getting $10 for this. That was agreed on, so 40 for winner, 10 for the loser. Not a winner-take-all situation here. And we have an honor guard coming out for Hetchy in the back. It's going to be quite a bit out, though. Another 40 seconds and a big travel time since it's on that back mini. And Almirante is just trying to contest nodes, but he's probably going to hit tech pretty quickly. If he goes double gem, but he's going to go shielded ghost. And this is what you see in this matchup a lot. It's it's very hard to counter. Typically, the only things that counter mask ghost here are going to be a quick tech over him. But Hetchy is not quick teching. He's buying probably one of the worst units you can buy right now. The honor guards just going to get mauled by these ghosts. So I, I like Almirante's position here, I think. I think he's going to be set up for a good early to mid game here with these ghosts. They're going to ramp up and really start to dominate the nodes here. And these cloak grunts won't matter anymore. I think Hetchy is committing to more upgraded pads as we speak. Honor Guard's out, but it's just idle. Moving now, we got a four-minute Honor Guard coming down the ramp. And we did mic check before this series, just to be clear. So this is the players. <laughs> and I, I suspect Almirante here is going to really start to dominate his nose. He's already got six-plus ghosts out. And Hetchy's dwindling on pop. He's down to 25. He's trying to take back a mini base on his side. We do have a turret coming up. Two turrets about to be up, so that will be good. He does have a generator on the mini base. Missed that, so he does have pretty good power in Cub, but that thing will be vulnerable to do, to attacks. And Almirante is just working with the nodes. He's fine with letting that mini base go. It's three to three minis bases after that. And he's got a second gen of his own, two upgraded pads. I wonder who will expo first here. Imagine Almirante. Run 48 Papa Ghost now, so this is a big army. He can probably take a big engagement. We're having a triple gen from Hetchy. Absolutely crazy. That's three generators already. Three turrets up. He won't get pushed in tech one, but he's going to be in trouble here shortly. He can hit tech. We'll see if he chooses to upgrade that generator or not. His grunts are getting picked off. He's trying to peck the nodes and distract Almirante. And he does opt in for tech two. He's on the way, but so is Almirante, I believe. No, Almirante opted to upgrade every pad. He's doubling down. And he's buying an expo. So this, this is where it can get a little scared for the ghost player. There will be a lot of ghosts, and that will take a lot of firepower to overcome. But he will be significantly behind in tech. 
Um, so for a while, the Shipmaster can have some Banshees and NGs and Spirit Drop and um, start to take some of the map back while that blue player is behind. Uh, but Almirante is not going to let these Expos get up. He wants to hold the map control here. Just going to keep Hetchy in one base. And Hetchy has not upgraded this gen yet. I'd like to see that upgraded. He's getting the Tech 2 upgrade from the Honor Guard. And here comes Almirante with the Ghosts. There's a lot of turrets here. No anti-vehicle, so it's not super dangerous. But he's getting this choke point. He might get beamed. He is choosing to take on this Honor Guard despite the turrets. And unless Hetchy has Extract, he does have Extract. The Ghost might just chase anyways, though. These turrets are not doing enough damage. Without the anti-vehicle, he's just still getting bullied. Here comes the beam. Hetchy did not micro the Honor Guard away first, though. It, it's continuing to fight. Oh, a lot of Ghosts getting caught in that beam. Amarante loses a lot of Ghosts for this trade. Trades quite a few ghosts for this honor guard. We'll see if that will be worth it. He is going to lose a significant amount of his tech one presence now. Uh, Almirante is opted for a double expo. They're both complete now. That's very, very greedy. He, and he's just now buying tech two. Hetchy does have spirit support. He's actually beating Almirante on points, which is crazy with the amount of nodes he has and expos. I can't believe Hetchy actually beat him there. But Hetchy does not have a beam now, and Almirante should. So Hetchy could get his spirit drop beamed, and he also already blew extract. So Hetchy's drop here is very vulnerable to getting picked off. He does get the expo up, but he, I think he's going to lose a very valuable drop here in exchange. And there goes the Ranger. Very important vet units being picked off here. And Almirante is just playing tenacious today. I mean, he's just in Hetchy's face, getting aggressive, dominating map, and not allowing him to, to do his shenanigans here. And I can't believe these two engineers are combating this so much. <laughs> shows, shows you the power of the, the engineer here. Crazy. Not even a bubble. There's no 40% bubble either. That's just the heal rate. That's crazy. The veterans, of course, helping as well. And he's upgrading this expo. Um... Amarante is leaving. No, he's going to come back. He does not need to go anywhere. He owns the entire map. There's nothing else for him to do right now. I mean, he has three bases. He has five nodes. He might as well just sit here and, and, and poke away, especially after a good kill like that. I think Amarante is feeling pretty confident at, at this point. He might just opt in for Tech 3, and that's what he's doing. He has three gens going Tech 3. He'll just start pumping Wraith, and uh, that'll probably be good game for Hetchy or He'll be ahead in the Wraith fight and scale ahead very quickly with that. And Hetchy's just on Marauder NG. I, I think he's he, he's definitely dead. I think he might try to go for attack three here too. But uh, with all these with all these nodes, he'll certainly fall behind in the vehicle upgrade race, scorch mortar, population upgrade, upgraded pads. Almirante should have a much higher production capacity to out pump him on race and research. As long as Almirante uses his position here wisely, he should be in a comfortable lead to close and win. There's an annoying honor guard on the base, though. Almirante actually bought no turrets, so I guess that's why his fourth point was later here, despite owning the entire map and having three expos. It shows you how important those turret buys are to boosting your leader point XP. That 40 XP really matters there in those, in those moments. And he's actually going to lose the generator. Almirante just, is just letting it happen. Here comes the extract. He must have bought another point for that. I think he had raid two. I haven't seen a beam from Almirante this. Maybe he skipped beam. Raid 2 and extract. That possibly was his leader point pick. And he will actually save that gen now without having to kill the honor guard. And we are ramming Marauders here from Almirante. He's going to kill those. His base is slow up for Hetchy, but I mean, there's race and ghosts here now. And Hetchy is still just in a corner. He's just now hitting tech 3. He really does not have the army to combat this. These engineers are putting up a good fight, but it won't last forever. I can't believe Almirante opted just for zero turrets. You know, you usually want one at least, but he's fighting these, and he's doing a spear support on offense. I don't think it'll be enough to kill anything, though. And the expo goes down for Hetchy. Almirante is feeling pretty comfortable here. Hetchy's now tech three, so he's getting Ray three, and he's gonna try and do a push out here shortly. But the clock's ticking. 
Beam goes down. For That was Hatchie's beam on the engineers. To try to get them off it so he can kill something finally. And he might kill something now, but... We'll see. But the clock's ticking for Hatchie. I mean, every second he doesn't push out and make something happen, Almirante is just continuing to get bigger and bigger. And his income is increasing exponentially here. He's got he's to make some moves here soon. And it looks like this... This gen might survive. It looks like he got displaced off of it, but he's he's back. He might try to kill it now. That hunter is getting bullied, but the engineer is doing a lot. But now this ranger hunter here, it'll die. Hatchie's just buying time, distracting, getting some hits in so that he can build up an army of his own. Oh, he tried to extract the hunter home, but it, it failed. He didn't get it out. The hunter dies. Another valuable vet unit. And he just wasted extracts, so and now these units are definitely dead. Hetchy blundering extracts left and right here. He keeps losing valuable units. And he opts in for teleport. <laughs> An aggressive teleport, nonetheless. And the gen is finally going down. It looks like that's a tech 3 honor guard, maybe. No, it's tech 2 still. And it might go down. It does get hit by that rage shot. The honor guard's dead. These units will get intercepted here shortly, I think. And Almirante is just, uh, you know, dotting his I's, crossing his D's. I think he could quite honestly push the main, but he wants to be careful. You know, there's money on the line. It's an important match, so he's going to he's gonna take it carefully. He's going to take the safe win. He has the map. He doesn't have to do anything crazy. As long as he just maintains order, he will certainly achieve victory here eventually. He's just waiting to get big enough to where it's impossible for him to lose anymore, so... He's just taking his time dealing with Hetchy's harassment around the map. And Hetchy is just going to keep the Wraith production going. And let me check on the chat real quick, make sure uh, make sure everything's going good. I want to make sure I'm not having any audio difficulties. Look good? Okay. No complaints yet, at least. <laughs> And this is an important match to lose. I mean, you're both burning Shipmaster here. It'll be out for the rest of the series, but... Definitely hurts to lose as a ship mirror. Big fight here for Almirante. He's going to wipe the remaining of Hetchy's units, I think. It's a close one, but that two-star hunter should make the difference. All, of it, all these bar units are hurt. Red Bard here. But I think Almirante should take this W here in this fight. The Hunter's making a big difference. And the Honor Guard's here as well. It's a close one. Hetchy's really playing hard to hard to get here. The Honor Guard runs off, and I think Almirante might lose this fight. Yeah, he has to extract home. Crazy. So Hetchy holds a bit longer, but he, he still has a bad situation here. He has so much ground to take back. I, I don't think it's it's feasible at this point, but, you know, in a real match, you never give up. There's no benefit to it, really. And Amarante lost that gem, but it doesn't matter. He's had five nodes the entire match, so he's doing great on power. I'm sure he's getting vehicle upgrades. He's probably super deep into them now. He had Scorch there in that fight. Almirante has been lacking Reavers. I think that's been killing him. His race are auto-targeting this air and messing up the, the fight quite a bit. And he took some losses there, but he's going to build back up and come back at it. And I think this time he will properly squash this game. Just going to fight for the nodes. I'm surprised Hetchy hasn't opted for this expert. I don't think Almirante has vision on it, actually. He does not. He could have bought that a long time ago, actually, and Almiri would have no idea. We have unseen blade research now. I think that's for Almirante. He doesn't displace into the high ground. And uh, even with extract, he, he, he killed it so quickly that it didn't matter. Uh, a lot of the units died. Very nice, good hit there. 
just tried to blitz him and scorch him and, and take out the units before he could even react, and he got some effective damage there. Underground's going away, packing up the garage. Pretty annoying, going to hurt his production quite a bit. But Almirante is just refusing to, to close this game. He wants to just take the safest to win here and then <laughs> chase every race to the corner of the map until he does a big push. He is he is not letting Hetchy do this. He's going to get nice and big and then close. I think after that, though, I think Almirante is going to feel pretty good. I think Almirante is going to do one big push and end this here shortly. Unfortunately, Shipmaster's Mirror, as strong as Shipmaster is on offense, he can also do quite a bit of good defense with Extract and Spirit Support. He can hold quite a bit, so it can be a little bit difficult to close at times. And he has Cloak on every base. We have the AA Truck strategy here. <laughs> Very hard to push. Yeah, and he has full anti-vehicle in the base, so he has to actually come with the proper amount of race, or he could get repelled off and and potentially choke. And Almirante does see this base now, so he knows that's there. He knows he has to deal with that. Yeah, to see these race, they're shooting up at the engineers in these fights. Oh, big beam here. Almirante's looking, though. He's going to split. Counter beam on the spirit support. He's going to lose three race for this counter beam, though. But he does kill the spirit drop, which I, I think is a fair trade there for two race. Vet units are irreplaceable, so. And he split some forces off to go hit the base, so he'll be multitasking here. He's got, I mean, like, what, 10-plus race here, so he's feeling good. Even with these losses, he's still great. He's got 3K in the bank, almost 4K. Hatchy has just this expo that's going to go down and very minimal resources. And he actually sacks the base very prematurely there. That was, that was a bit early. I don't think he even sold the buildings off of that as well. <clears throat> and Hetchy is dead here now, I think. Almirante's going to do one big swift push here. Close out the match. He feels nice and confident now. Going to take out the anti-vehicle turrets right away. Before Hetchy can even play defense. Big clash here. Got active, active cloak. For Almirante, giving him a bit of a siphon and a speed buff. Look how fast these races are now. <laughs> Chasing the army down, and El Hechi resigns. And game one goes to Almirante. Oh, it's nice to have a Shipmaster Mirror, at least. Then you don't have two games of Shipmaster maybe being broken and disrupting a series, because sometimes the meta can be a little stale. So it's 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 fun to see that those leaders get out of the way. So now for the rest of the best of seven, there's no Shipmaster, and we'll get some... We'll get some interesting matchups because they both know Shipmaster is gone now as well. All right, game one goes to Hetchy here. Or, I'm sorry, to Almirante here. And we are moving on to Rift. And do I have any mods in the chat? Is a Renty there? Renty, let me know if you're there. I'd love to mod you. Get a poll going. I don't think it's too late still. I don't know what your account at name is. I'm having trouble getting a poll going. <laughs> Maybe I can just do it real quick. All right, I got a pull going. <laughs> One game late, but it's okay. Just the Shipmaster Mirror. <clears throat> and uh, Scorpion Laws, thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate it. I have uh, notifications turned off right now. I, I don't like to disrupt my streams with notifications, but while we're in this menu, thank you very much. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for supporting the stream. Glad you're enjoying the content. Sit back, relax. We got a fun one here. This looks like a fun matchup, actually. So I would have expected this in the opposite order, actually. But all right, over here in the blue corner, we've got Almirante 99 playing as Yap Yap. And in the red corner, we've got El Hechi Zero. He's down a game. He's looking to make a comeback. He's playing Captain Cutter. Captain Cutter versus Yap Yap. This is a time-old matchup. Lots of disputes over this. We've had entire series dedicated just to Cutter versus Yap to see who wins it. 
pretty funny. Very heavily disputed. And as the meta has unfolded, I think the ideals have changed. You know, some people used to think Yap was better, but I bet a lot of people now would advocate Cutter is better. Um, it's a difficult, it's a difficult one there. And yeah, we look at <laughs> we're having a Node Strat from Hetchy. And to reiterate, if you weren't here, uh, Node Strat is allowed for the series, so Hetchy is allowed to do this, and he gets a clean Node Strat there. Two nodes taken at the expense of a Marine health, though. So I'm not sure what the trade value is there, but he seems to think it's worth it. But he is getting mini stolen for that. He might lose two mini bases. Almirante doesn't have the money, so he won't get it. Hetchy gets one mini. And one mini still is not the end of the world, but it does definitely hurt. He is meaning to maintaining onto the nodes, though. And and what's interesting, out of all matchups you can node strat versus, Yap Yap particularly is a very strong leader to do this versus because he just lacks the ability to contest nodes very effectively. He has no starting grounds. So all he has is starting fodder. As you can see here, they're going to get picked off, and they have a very slow capture rate. So while they're capturing this node, look, it's not even 50%, and it's going to die. Yap Yap actually has very little capacity to fight these nodes if you node strat. So this is uniquely a good strat to actually use here. I personally don't think node strat is very effective in 1v1s most of the time. It has its place in teams. But in 1v1s, I think it's usually more damaging than it is beneficial. A lot of the time, at least, depending on how you implement the build. Uh, but in this instance, it actually seems like it's getting pretty good value. This is one of those rare instances I, I can actually see the appeal. And he is going Armory Barracks. Playing a heavy tech one in Scudder. I don't understand this Watchtower thing he loves. I really don't get it, but... Because you don't get XP for Watchtowers anymore. Now let's go look at Hetchy's or Almirante's build. Any barracks? Are we doing any Yap Yap barracks? One barracks. Just one. A really late barracks, dude. This is what I mean. Yap Yap just can't contest. I mean, look how late these heavy grunts will be. He just has to use fodder. And if Hetchy plays clean and careful, he could ODST and... Really get some momentum going here. The Spartan's almost out. He's probably looking to take this mini base back eventually, but the Flamer's getting bullied. And Hetchy seems to be a little bit idle right now. There's a lot of troops standing around doing nothing. Not really allocating his, his resources here effectively. And now he's going out. He may have been waiting for the Spartan there. Um, and these nodes have given him a lot of value so far. He, got, he lost this one, but he's getting another one over here it looks like. I wonder if he has Raid 2 now, because Raid 2... No, he still has a leader point. If he goes Raid 2, uh, the capture rate is 100%. It's way quicker, so uh, he could node strat. Yeah, if he had Raid 2, he would have captured that really easily. It's a little difficult with Raid 1. You still can be killed. And Hetchy is kind of wasting his time here. I mean, he's going all the way to the side. He's revealing his position to the opponent, and he's not heading in. He's not making a dangerous hit. He's kind of wasting a lot of time standing around not getting anything done. I mean, it's 350 almost, and we are not even getting our first node yet with real units besides an node strat. I mean, just very little pressure. I mean, Almirante's just going to quick tech over him, probably. He's getting shrapnel rounds. I can't believe that. Upgraded choppers? Almirante's really going to try to fight Cutter Tech 1. I, that's very scary. I, I wonder if he'll pull it off. He has riders. He has chopper. Maybe we'll see some heavy grunts here eventually. Uh, but Cutter gets big enough with Sniper, Flamer, ODST. It can be really scary. And Hetchy has not spent his point yet. He doesn't know what he wants. I think he's he's debating between Lotus Mines or not. And he has double barracks at home. He has not taken his mini base back yet. It's crazy. But he has three, just three upgraded pads. And looks like he's going to make a move now. Almirante is almost on third point. So he'll have Beam coming in shortly. But he's got a big army here. He can defend for sure. Hetchy's army is not big enough. He's going to get beat up here, I think. Big mine combo from both players. All the mines is detonate. Except one. Almirante's units get killed there. Will he take the garrison? Hetchy takes the garrison with his UNSC units. Uh, but the units are, are, are outnumbered here. He didn't have a big army. The Yap Yap is holding. But he did get the garrison over him. And that Spartan will be a menace in that garrison. So I think Almirante will have to back off. But it's okay because this isn't a threat to the base still. He does have turrets. Um, he should be okay. And Hetchy has third point, but he does not have the capital to drop an ODST, so he's got to wait for that to come in. Amarante might have beam or turret drop here. We'll see what he grabs. There's a lot of units from Hetchy. That double barracks is paying off now. There's a lot of flamers coming across. And then Amarante's tech too, so Hetchy's got to make some moves right now. He's got to do something. 
Rangers will be coming out shortly. There's already two barracks down, a third one coming down. Here comes ODST. We got a beam on the army. Will Hedgie split? Good splits so far. Will he do the follow-up split? A little bit of a follow-up. Looks like he, he negates a lot of the damage. Pretty good split there. Very solid from Hedgie. He's got a Spartan in the front that might just sit here and peck off Rangers. This might be an effective push from Hetchy. We'll see. There's a barracks over here, so Rangers will come from there. They're not completely locked in the base. But these Rangers have to be careful. They might get picked off. Spartan and Ranger. Good job by Almirante here on locking at the same time the choppers come by. Trying to harass the Spartan. Big slam comes down. It won't get any connections, I think, though. And I think Almirante is going to hold this. I think Almirante just has enough to push this off. There's no turrets left, so he has to be careful. Ooh. Those rangers are actually having more trouble than I suspected they would here. There are no more turrets, but Hetchy is running out of firepower here. He's going to keep being annoying, but I think he's going to run out of steam here. Has he double genned? He is double genning now. It's a little bit late. Trying to get a node back. I think Hetchy's going to get pushed off and be in trouble again. This momentum is going to swing back on him. Takes this, takes the garrison, but I think he'll get picked off. Hetchy has fourth point already. Because he has turret drop here, and there it is. Very solid turret drop. That'll be annoying. That's going to keep Almirante in a corner a little bit longer here. But Hetchy has failed to take back this mini base after all this time. We're approaching eight minutes almost, and no upgraded gen still. And he's going to get the Spartan out of there. He did as much as he could. He didn't get any good solid hits, but he killed a lot of Rangers. And he kept Almirante backed up and without an Expo for a while. So this could pay off because now we're getting to that fifth point transition point, right? We have the ODST Assault Group coming in here shortly. While the Yap Yap is still in one base and relatively small scale. So that, that drop might be really potent still if he can drop that in here in a minute. He's got to get those points in though. He ha he's had fast hitter points so far, but it may start to slow down now. If he doesn't properly keep buying things he does need this power still he, he neglected 50 power there just now upgrading the generator <clears throat> and i think almirante is trying to transition now he's getting goblins out raid camp still these are good picks by Hetchy. He is he's isolating a lot of these rangers and getting pretty valuable kills. I mean, these things are not cheap. They're 125 power each, so every kill is pretty valuable. Mines come down. Those won't do much. It's just uh, to distance himself. And he's going to run the Spartan away. I don't think he'll get caught. I think he'll get away. He does have ODST, but no money. I think he wants to just disengage at this point, though. <sighs> Spartan got real low there, almost died. He's going to sacrifice these troops to get him away. Hetchy's expoing, and Hetchy did a bad thing here, actually. Uh, this expo is really good and hard to spot and counter, but when you play on this side of the map with a Spartan, and then you lead your enemy towards this way, running away, you kind of accidentally get them to reveal your base. I mean, Almirante might accidentally stumble upon it and attack it. And two war councils down. He's going to get a big ball up, so Hetchy's got to get this fifth point soon and make something happen. Big drop on Hetchy's main. Going to go for the generator. And he'll probably get that kill. There's absolutely no turrets. So we have one, two, and three watchtowers. I'm really not sure what the purpose of this watchtower build is. I mean, it lets you see around your base so you can see attacks coming. But other than that, I mean, there's no defenses here. He's jacking a methane wagon, which is nice. Uh, but these troops are going to waste a lot of his time. Valuable time he can't spare right now. Yap Yap is really getting online. And on a map like Rift, when Yap Yap gets online, it can be really scary because there aren't a whole lot of areas to hit for Cutter. It's a pretty centralized map. Lost the generator. It's not the biggest hit, but the, the real hit is the opportunity cost of having to be back here and chasing units around and wasting his time when he could be out on the front lines making stuff happen. And I think that's the real cost happening here. That generator wasn't super important for Cutter. He mainly needs blue here. Almirante only has... That looks like Dispersion Nozzle Hetchy bought. I'm not a huge fan of Dispersion, but we'll see how, how it plays out here. 
Another Apex. And big hit over here. ODST mines get countered by the beam, though. And Hetsy gets countered there pretty hard. The Goblin will heal the generator. And all three ODSTs get picked off. It's a really bad blow for Hetsy. He did not need that right now. Could have used that in, in tandem with his big drop coming up. If he had used that with his big drop, he could have closed the game maybe. I mean, Almirante doesn't have a whole lot. I mean, what, five Rangers there? Red bar? Three goblins out now, but I think a big drop and an ODST combined with Spartan would have would have actually very potentially closed up the game. It's a really scary drop for Yap to fight this early. That really could have gotten a lot done. Hetchy just needs one turret, so he doesn't have to... He, he's, he's, like, he defended with a Marine, right? But it's wasting so much of his time. It's taking up his attention. And that is a resource you can't spare. You don't have unlimited attention. You can't be everywhere at once. So you, you know, you want to automate the processes when you can. You want to turn it up. You don't want to have to tediously micro every little engagement on the map. You'll fall behind. And the Spartan's going around. He's going to do a big main hit. He's saving up the money. Look, looks like we're going for a base trade, which is pretty good for, for Hetchy because this base isn't that valuable compared to Almirante's main. Big drops the mine drop to get it out of the way. He didn't have any detect to get rid of it. Oh, but those fodder are so annoying, clogging up the pathing. And we know Glassing Beam is gone, but Almirante read the play coming. He read Hetchy like a book, started a shield generator, and it's going to get down for sure. Shield gen on a shield gen. Absolutely great play from Almirante here. He read the counteroffensive coming, and now he's all rooting home. He should have kept something here, though. He didn't kill the expo, but I guess he's scared at home. He doesn't want this getting out of hand. Bit of an all unit from Almirante. If, if Hedgy could utilize this, he could pull all me around. The shield's about to go down, but Almirante's back with goblins and engineers, and I think he's going to get pushed off pretty hard. He should probably retreat before it's too late. Oh, man. I think he's going to get wiped here if he's not careful. He already lost the UDS T drop. He's going to lose his big drop as well. I'm not sure what you think he's achieving here. He's killed the shield gen. He's killing the rangers, so that's pretty powerful. Is he going to close air support? Is that's what he, is, he, is he trying to get six point here and wait for that? I think he's trying to close air. That could be potentially potent. Yeah, look, he's trying so hard to get it, I think. But he's losing the only troops that are here. Without these troops supporting the close air support, they won't be as good. He's got ODST back. He could drop that in. ODST comes in. He gets the six point. He could close air with his ODST. Ah, oh, but he bought it. He bought another base. He bought two bases. Mines go off. He bought two bases. He can't afford close air support now. He should elite one. He could close air right now. That would probably close out this game. Hetchy's getting so much damage done here. I can't believe it. I hope I hope Hetchy close airs it. It might close the game out if he did that. I can't believe this. I, I thought this push was going to get squashed. There's the close air support. That's huge. Almirante is in shambles right now. He can't defend this. The troops are actually winning. The Spartan's still not upgraded though. It's still a tech one. Close air is here. Oh, but Hetsy's getting wiped now. And Almirante... <laughs> he goes, please don't shoot me. And that's going to burn a lot of the time of the close air support. Good thing is, Hetsy got some bases up. But they're not really built on yet. And he lost his fourth over here. A lot of Rangers coming back home. Hetsy... Oh, Hetsy was so close here. I think he had a victory possibly in his grasp here. But he didn't quite get enough done here. He's going to get pushed off here. And the Spartan's going to suicide for... Probably, that's a good combo, actually. Great combo. Solid kill. And the Spartan might get away. Oh, he's going to run to the Rangers. He's dead. That was a great combo. But the close air support achieved essentially nothing. It did clear out turrets, but that's it. Um, no real infrastructure was damaged. And he's going to do a big push out, I think, right here. Look at that drop turret doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> and that's it for Hetchy. He blew he blew his entire army there. Hetchy was really hoping to close out there. 
I think it's getting close. That big drop might recycle back in time before things get too bad, and maybe one more big fight could occur. But Almarante's pretty big now. He's got three generators. He has two nodes. He, he, he controlled the dangerous, the most dangerous part of the game, that close air support, fifth point, sixth point time, where Cutter gets two big powers in a row. And he contained it pretty well, so this is when Cutter starts to be on the run. <clears throat> and Hetchy's not in a good position right now. If these bases were built, he could probably keep this at bay, but these things are barely built upon. He's really not up and running. The good thing is, uh, Almirante doesn't know about that. Almirante's view of the battlefield is essentially this right now. He doesn't know everything that's going on. He thinks he's hitting a big hit here, but this is actually just one of three bases. And this base will surely go down. We haven't seen any Nightingales from Hetchy yet. Just Flamers. And this base will die. He should sack these buildings, get some money back. Rangers are going out. He saw units over here. I think he's suspecting there might be a base. He no try it again. Oh my gosh. And Almirante smells blood. He's going for a big hit, but Hetchy, I think, has his big drop again. And there's no turrets. No turrets. He could make a big hit here, but the Rangers are coming back. Okay, here's a normal ODST. Doing a big base trade here. If Hetchy had more turrets, he could hold this, but he has two now at least. They don't think it's enough, though. And this shield is delaying so much of this push that the Rangers are almost back. He should take this garrison from him. Hetchy's just not, Hetchy is simply not getting enough done. He's not getting enough damage output on these bases. He's making big hits, but essentially achieving nothing at the end of it over and over. And he's getting beamed. Big mine combo, but the beam will kill the mines. Do we have ODST Assault Group? That could that could crush these rangers. Pretty good archer missiles, but it's, it's not going to be enough. He needs to drop. The Spartan's going to run away. There it is now. Will he drop? The Spartan goes down, but that army is dead, and the beam's gone. There's only one turret here. He's going to kill all these rangers, probably. And on the other side, big drop from Yap Yap. That's going to be really troublesome. This army will not go down to anything now, not even turrets. This army will have free reign on the bases, and he'll probably outbase trade the cutter now. This will be a great hit, but it's going to be... It's not going to be as good as this Yap Yap hit. This, he's just going to aim main and murder Hetchy here. Hetchy does have another base, but... But he's going to fall behind here, I think. There's Rangers packing away, slowing the kill. Hetchy's only on 80 pop. Almirante's on 100. The Dispersion Nozzle Flamer is doing much better than I expected, honestly. Uh, I think as Cutter you can get away with it, because if they go Marauder, you have Vet 2 Cyclops to counter that still. But as other you're going to see, I don't think these Dispersion Nozzles would work very well. So I think this is maybe a Cutter-only thing here. And he actually goes Turret Drop. That's surprising. And Hetchy's main will die here. And he is struggling to kill the space. I mean, look at this damage output. It's so bad. This engineer will counter everything here. Look at that damage. Absolutely countered by one engineer. And Hetchy clicks on the turret drop. He tells him to shoot the engineer. But he is being stalled. And time is against him here. The army is coming back. He's got he's to gotta do something now. He's got to kill this. But he's letting the Rangers pack him. Almarante's doing a great job at sniping troops. And Hetchy resigns. Hetchy taps out. That's an early tap out. I'm surprised. And Almirante takes game two. He's up in the series two to zero. That was a close one. I think Hetchy actually had, had a win there. He had a win situation for a lot of those. Uh, it's probably my Bluetooth, uh, Scorpion Laws. That rip sound is my Bluetooth, I think. I think I'm sitting too far back, maybe. Sometimes my Bluetooth has a bad connection. Alright. Let's go to Frontier.
And let's see. Oh, they backed out quickly. Someone regretted their pick there. I probably don't pronounce words very well, too, because as I cast, my mouth gets so dry so quick, so it's really hard for me to continue the, the speaking. I really start my tongue. I can feel my tongue start to really <laughs> struggle to, to enunciate words properly, so. It's a lot of speaking for the show match. If you guys haven't cast it, it's pretty difficult, actually. It's, it takes a lot out of you. Respect for the people who cast. <laughs> All right, in the blue corner, leading the series 2-0. to zero. We have Almirante 99, and he is playing as Atriox, going gen first. You don't see that every day. Opening a grunt as well, no chopper. Probably can't afford it with that kind of build. And he's looking just to grab some early blue. Different build. I like, I like these new types of builds. They're interesting. You don't see this a whole lot. And in the red corner, we've got El Hachi 0. Playing as Decimus, and he is opening double grunt as well, going around the map, grabbing as many resources as he can. And Almirante goes gen first and grabs a mini base at the same time. That's uh, that's greedy. That's expensive. And he cannot afford pads even. That was a little bit late. And we're seeing a barrack second out of Hetu, so that's going to be a fast, hard hit. And he sells his mini base, actually. And then Scrant gets picked off by Hetchy. So Amarante only has six pop now. And it's all to the corners, essentially. So these uh, jump pack brutes might... He's really just going for a cheese here, isn't he? That's crazy. Almirante sees the jump back brute now, though. He knows what's coming. I can't believe Hetchy's hitting there. I'm surprised he's not just heading to the main right away. There's a Chosen coming out for Almirante. And he's just going to hit the mini base right away, but... That's going to slow him down quite a bit. Jump pack brute jumping to the mini base to beat him to the buy, and he does get it. And he's just trying to deny the mini bases for Almirante, but he's only denying at most one here, maybe. I mean, Almirante still gets two mini bases despite all of this early jump pack brute harassment, and that's the cost of a late generator for, for Hetchy. Uh, he can't upgrade it. He just simply can't upgrade it, so he's going to be pre pretty poor for a while. Chosen's on his way out. He has the power to upgrade it. Almirante is looking like he's in a fantastic position here. Just going to go probably grunt, chosen, JPB, and just push. I mean, this matchup is already hard for Desi, but when you do plays like this that are kind of all or nothing, uh, it makes it definitely a lot easier. Chosen is out. What will Hetchy do? He's got jump pack brutes playing around the map. Uh, the, good, the way Desi, I think, conventionally can win this is being in more places at once and having healing units. Uh, the Chosen can only be one spot at once, so you just kind of win the battles where the Chosen is not at and hopefully get more ground gain that way. But if you're not hitting multiple places, <laughs> the Chosen has no issues and he will chase you down. So here come the jump back brutes. I think he might go for a Vortex play. Oh, he clicked too far. I think he thought this jumped. Yeah, he's going to be mad. Hetchy's going to look back here and uh, realize they didn't jump. Yeah. I think he clicked a jump to go over the hill, but they weren't in range. They started to walk all the way around instead of doing the, the jump action. So now he's just going to redirect. Lots of grunts getting taken down. Not sure what Hatchy's play here. No war. Oh, they're going to war council now. We might get a warlord out to pull that chosen. Jump back brute on the, on the node. Grunts to help out. 42 pop versus 20, so it's a big pop difference, but he did buy a hero, so you would expect that. I wonder if Almirante went for it or if he went for the countermeasures plasma mine combo. It looks like plasma mine and probably countermeasures as well. He's going jump back brutes, so he's going to go all in tech one. There's the countermeasures countering the jump back brutes from El Hechi Zero here. Hechi's on two nodes. That will help him afford this hero upgrade quite a bit for sure. 
And he has four mini bases, so he had some breathing room for a while. Almarath has got to take some ground back first. Two generators. He's buying the hero upgrade now, but he's going for a big main hit. He actually narrowly avoids these plasma mines unless he saw them, maybe. Big hit over here. Chosen's coming back. I'd like to see a warlord here to counter that Chosen, keep him back. Just not out, though. We should get a big gen here, hit here, I think, if he has Vortex. <clears throat> That's a big hit, and he actually sells it very early. Vortex goes down to the Chosen. There's no follow-up. Oh, if he had jumped that Brutal, he may have killed it. He is very weak, though. Plasma Mine goes off. Very narrowly, he's going to escape death. These, these CM Mimes are going to be what save him. <laughs> very, very close call there for, for Almirante. That would have been a, a devastating hit. I think that would have costed him the game. I think Hetchy would win if that Chosen died. Just outright. The Warlord is here, but it's idle. Hetchy's jump back brutes are winning slightly at the moment. That could change with this turret here. The Warlord needs to get in here, but I think he's trying to hide him for a while and then reveal him when he wants to pull it. Oh my gosh. The micro gets a vet one and almost dies. It's going to get away, and Hetchy was trying to pull it. Just not enough. And Hetchy's push, I think, is over, but there's only one turret left, and he might get that kill on that turret. And then Almirante's in trouble. Does he have a Chosen anywhere? Just the double barracks. He's in trouble. This Warlord will be uncontested. And Almirante is going to get behind because Hetchy's going to steamroll into Boundless Siphon here shortly. This might be fourth point coming up now. I think this is fourth point coming up here in just a second. Hetchy has, has, has done a lot. These are going to be Boundless Siphon Brutes. And on the Tech 1 scale, if you don't have counter units, Boundless Siphon is very hard to overcome. The Tech 1 units just don't have the damage output to deal with this healing. Uh, good counter hit here. Does Hetchy have any turrets? No turrets at home. So these Jump Pack Brutes might might uh, transfer to a main hit. But Hetchy is Tunnel Vision. He is, he is very determined to get a good hit kill here. He feels confident. He smells blood. He's got a Warlord and JPBs here. He's hitting the generators. He's going to keep Almirante and Tech 1 perpetually forever. Uh, the ch I'm sorry. Yeah, he's going to... Yeah, he is. We'll see. I, 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 I didn't... We'll see. I think the Chosen should be on defense right now. But that might be the better play to, to guard. They're both keeping their heroes with their jump pack brutes, and that might be the better play here. Uh, but he's going to have no DPS to kill these units because, look, they're healing now. It's so hard to overcome that heal. The turrets just won't even do it either. He's going to have to send something back, I think. Doing a counterattack of his own. Does Hetchy have any jump pack brutes? I mean, he has no mini left, right? So no more brutes coming in. All, all the brutes died. Just grunts are left. Oh my god, what? What? Hetchy needs to move his rally point. These could all be in the base just killing him right now. Hetchy could probably just aim main and base trade if these units would get over here. This warlord is invincible right now. and It's got a vet one. Now it can match this chosen pretty easily. I would say right now, despite the map being heavily blue... Amarante is actually in a worse position still. I think Desi operates better, even in bad situations like this. We'll see. He's got to do something, though. He's wasting so much time. Hetchy has... I mean, the <laughs> Hetchy has Boundless Siphon. He's He's got a good position here, but I think he's going to squander it. He's going to get distracted and lose the whole map. There are a lot of Brutes. He just didn't buy any turrets. I mean, two turrets up. This is prevented. Hetchy continues not to buy any turrets. He would have gotten Boundless Siphon quicker, too, if he bought turrets. He's going to lose the game because he didn't, he didn't buy enough. I mean, he got Boundless Siphon. He got the exact situation he wanted, but he's, I think he's going to lose now. He's so close. He has, he has the way better army. He has the way better units. He's, he's healing. Aatrox doesn't have any powers here to really help. No major drops. But his simple base trade with Brutes is going to is gonna be the end of him, I think. He's losing all of his pads. His eco shot. No generators. Or, I'm sorry, he still has that one gen. 
He has the, he has the node at least too, though. Hetchy is just getting pulled apart here. He did get the good hit on the Chosen, but I bet Almirante has teleport, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, there's the teleport. Good teleport, too, onto the mini. Hetchy is bankrupt. He's about to lose his only heavy pad on that mini base. Only the pads on the main on the on the main remain. <laughs> so many vet one units this game. You'd think someone had battle hardened. It's so crazy. <laughs> Suey drop from Almirante there. You don't see that as Atrox very often. Will that kill it? I mean, it has siphon. Wow. That doesn't even kill one jump pack, Brute. What a horrible drop. <laughs> That's crazy. Man, Hetchy has a good position because they're both tech one. Uh, but Hetchy got tech two, actually. But he just, he, his eco got shot. He lost every mini base. I don't know. I mean, I got tunnel vision watching this, this fight over here. I, I guess he lost the map. I don't know how he lost control so rapidly. If he had even one mini base, he'd be a pretty solid spot, I think. I mean... Amarante's still light years from Tech 2. I mean, seriously, just... There's... <laughs> Hetchy, instead of buying a gen and upgrading it, Desi drops the main over here. Absolutely insane. He could just kill that drop. I mean, this Desi, this Desi drop is not killable, I think. on Right now, 14 pop. There is nothing Amarante can do right now. This is actually might be a genius play by Hetchy. To negate this generator buy. He will totally kill the Chosen. There's no teleport back yet. Big hit. He has pullback. He'll pull it. He will pull that hero. There we go. That thing's dead. Chopper zero to Haram. Good kill. I think Almirante's dead. Unbelievable play. Absolutely unbelievable game from Hetchy, actually. I thought he was dead 30 seconds ago. That's insane. Just red bars the main. And Almirante's going to play some expo plays here, but with Boundless Siphon out of control now, I mean, he's he's dead. He simply will not be able to buy a unit that can contest anything Decimus can buy. Not while still in tech one. I mean, he's I guess he's about to hit tech, but that might be a mistake to upgrade that base. He might need that thousand power. Can this? He's going to have the, the ability back, and then this engineer won't be able to negate that much damage, I think. Eventually, he can kill us, I believe. These engineers are just keeping him at bay, though. Well, Amarante... Okay, this is good from Hetchy. He has one barracks up. This is what I like to see. So he can start to take map back. The Warlord's coming to help. Desi drop. It's just going to sit here and, and whack on things. Big damage hit there. He's going to kill the generator. That'll be another big gen hit. Amarante's tech now, so maybe we can see some rangers. I doubt that's enough to repel anything. He does have another generator on that mini base up here. But, I mean, these heroes simply cannot die right now. Uh, especially if Hetchy ever gets the tech 2 upgrade on this hero. Uh, that thing will be a monster with stun. The Chosen will be out of commission for a while. I mean, Amarante's dead. I mean, he just, he just, as Atriox here, I mean, what do you do? There is nothing Amarante can do here, I think. He just has to sit here and <laughs> just... He's at the mercy of these heroes. I think he's trying to get some kind of counterplay going, but it, it is not going to happen. I mean, that, that is a wrap for Atriox here. Your win condition is early and fast, and he missed it. These heroes are just going to barrage this base forever. I mean, he has a Chosen, but it, it's so worthless. There's two heroes that can just infinitely pull him and stun him. And the more buildings he kills, the more vet he will actually get. So he's going to kill its apex and maybe get vet. No, not yet. Not yet. I thought he might get it because he killed that chosen. That's worth a lot of XP. I think I think Almirante is just going to try to do some big hit. I mean, how has Hetchy not bought a turret yet? That's insane. He should know by now to buy a turret. <laughs> Here comes the Warlord. He's going to come for that hero. It's only a Tech 1 Warlord, so that Tech 2 Chosen does a lot better, actually. May not be that dangerous. Big Decimus hit again. Going to kill Almirante's heavy pads, and those are big hits for sure.
But th these healing jump pack brutes, these healing grunts are just not matchable, I think. He's 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 feeling pretty good right now. Another heavy pack will go down here. No veterancy for that hero still. That's crazy. Thought he would have had it by now. Amarante forced to buy another generator, but he's just he's just going to run out of places to hide here. Eventually, Hetchy will get this under control. Take the map back, and Amarante will be forced to take a head-on engagement that he is not going to be equipped to take for a long time. The hero's back. Strange vortex on these engineers, but I guess he wants them out of the way. He's tired of them delaying this base death. <laughs> and the engineers are healing themselves, actually, not the base. I almost almost got a critical there. Hermante's continuing the harassment. He has Dark Skies, so his brutes are a lot better, but they don't heal. <laughs> and that's the biggest important factor. He just can't kill this Decimus drop, but the Decimus drop also can't kill this base. <laughs> Hopefully he'll get Vet 1 eventually, and that will make a big difference. I can't believe this game is still going on. This is just hilarious. He upgraded the drop. Almirante upgraded the Sui drop, and he has Vet 2 Jump Pack Brutes now. He'll get Vet 3 if he throws another point into that. We have Vet 2 Warlord now. Does he have the Tech 2 upgrade yet? I don't think he does. What has Hetsy been doing? He needs to get the map back. I mean, this is ridiculous how long it's taking. He's got to get control. Take the nodes. Take the mini bases. He's taking too long. I mean, he's absolutely keeping this main just in shambles over here. He's 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 keeping the economy down, but Amarante will get back on his feet eventually if he doesn't keep the pressure on. I mean, he has to... He's got to be playing in multiple spots here. I think he hasn't upgraded this gen for a while, and that was keeping him down. He wasn't able to get Dark Skies... He hasn't been able to get the Warlord upgrade. That's been hurting him, I think. Another pad kill for this Destiny. I mean, how is this thing not Vet 1? I, I would love to see the stats on this hero, actually. I've never looked at the Destiny drop stats. No Vet 1, so that's crazy. That's a lot of kills for it. He's finally going to kill this mini base, I think, but this Chosen already has a Vet 1. Probably getting close to Vet 2. Sui drop from Hetchy, but that's that's not gonna do anything. That's such a dumb power as Decimus here, I think. He could have bought a lot of things. The Sui's are stuck trying to chase that jump pack brute. I can't believe how much Almirante is staying in this game here. He's actually containing this. I can't believe it. Can I get that one now? There we go. Now the Dessie Drop has Vet 1. I think I think Hedgy doesn't know... Is it Vet 2 now? Or, I mean, uh, level 2 now? Is it a level 2 Warlord? Is there a way I can tell? That must that must be level 2 now, right? Hedgy neglected the Tech 2 upgrade for a while. I, I think he has it now. Unless that's just how big Vet 2 is. I don't know. Surely Hetchy gets himself together here now and takes back the map and wins. I mean, Almirante's just on this pitiful little base. It finally got upgraded eventually. This generator should have been killed a long time ago by, by jump pack brutes. No Dark Skies still. But Almirante's going to have a Vet 3 jump pack brute drop, I think. And that's going to be dangerous, actually. That's a that's insane having Vet 3 on a jump pack brute. These engineers just causing him so many problems over here. But he has two heroes. That's what's big. You know, one hero's on the main. One hero sits over here and just harasses. Good beam on the jump pack brutes from Hetchy. Here's the drop. Is this level three now from, from Almirante? No, it's still level two. He, I, I didn't, he didn't put another point into it yet. Oh, wow. There's nothing to the healing brutes. Hetchy has dark skies now. Oh, man, Almirante's in trouble now, I think. The Chosen's getting picked up. He has a Vet 3 Warlord. I think the game's over. I mean, if you get that, the game's just over, I think, in, the, <laughs> in these types of situations. He has Teleport. It won't die, but it's it's not good. Gonna make him use Teleport. Yep. Oh, he is right on top of this grunt, though. He's more units up here. Might get jumped on. Gets jumped on there. 
nothing to follow up it looks like if that's if if hetchy ever gets teleport he'll be able to chase that chosen wherever it teleports to and, and confirm a kill actually so and yeah, we're getting to that 20 minute mark he can have teleport here gets another pull he got away with teleport but he didn't leave so he got pulled again he's dead beam comes down but that will not kill this warlord i think oh my gosh so he drops gonna save it maybe he's gonna get that warlord out of there oh he put siphon on it he put siphon on big slam stunts the whole army this vet three warlord is absolutely insane <laughs> he just will not die he's gonna engineer now He's going to kill that entire army. The Desi drop is about to kill the main, finally. And Almirante resigns. Absolutely insane game. Absolutely insane. That is probably the most insane frontier I've casted. What a play from Hetchy. Good job. That's a hard matchup. I think Trox wins that on these small maps. I really do. That's a tough tech one to survive. Great job. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, we're going to Mirage now. And I, I guarantee you Almirante is pissed, and he's going to go Captain Cutter now. I think Almirante will go Cutter now. Either that or Forge. Or or he might go Johnson. I've been going Johnson versus Almirante recently, and he I think he likes it. So he might go Johnson here, actually. We'll see. One of those three units, see, I, I, I suspect Almirante will, will, will like to go here, so... Let's see what the, the prediction is at. What does everyone have voted on? Can I even see? Did the predict did the poll not go out? Oh. <laughs> I did a poll instead of a prediction. I just realized that's two different things. What was the poll? Did anyone see? I'm such a boomer today. I'm so sorry guys. I didn't have any mods in my chat. No one did the correct. No one. No one fixed it. <laughs> it's all right. Hey, if anyone was here for the poll, I'd love to see what the results were. I thought I did a prediction. I wanted you guys to vote on this, but oh well. Hold your points. And they have locked in. I wonder what Hetchy chose. He's more of a, a loose cannon here. Wow, did not see this coming. That's crazy. <clears throat> Alrighty. He was leading the series 2-0, to zero, but now it is 2-1. to one. He took a big loss last game. Got Almirante 99 playing as Colony. Opening skit. Hetchy telling him he loves mirrors. And of course, Hetchy will be Colony as well. Typing in his opponent, getting his opponent's head, psychological warfare on all fronts here. We got skitterer opener, double pad opener, probably the same from Hetchy. Yeah, double skit opener. And he's better take this garrison, and he does snag it. So Almirante's grunts will have wasted a bit of their time coming up here. A skitterer is coming up to support. I think we just saw one skitterer from 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 Almirante. Yeah, we did. Only one skitterer from Almirante. Looks like his build is a little bit ahead. He's buying another grunt. Hetchy opting to immediately buy that double mini, but it's gonna hinder his build. Just uh, maybe not. He can afford it still. Interesting. He, he double grabbed blue, so he had a lot more blue actually for that. And Almirante sees this, and he is going to punish this right away. He is opening racks forth. I like this response. This is a good response, uh, particularly as Colony. What those skits and the Goliaths, you can really protect them. You don't need a high chopper count to protect them anymore. Uh, the skits do quite a good job on their own. So I think that'll be a fast hit. I don't think Hetsy will be prepared for that. But it is a mirror, so he has skits himself to help to help push it off. And a skit chopper would work wonders here if he could get one out. And no fifth building. Really late fifth building. No, I'm surprised he's buying the raid camp on the main and not on the mini base. 
he's so paranoid to buy these mini bases. I think it's gonna he's he's gonna cost him. He's he's over buying here, and the Goliaths are coming right now with skits with grunts. There's gonna be a lot here for him to deal with. He's trying to get some of this power, trying to collect it. Wonder if we'll see any hunter captain from anyone. <laughs> With two colonies in the game, very high chance we have a crash this game. So be prepared for that, for a scandal of that nature coming here. If anyone buys a hundred captain here. Skit grunt and the garrison. Pretty pretty powerful, actually. But I think Hetchy has overbought. He has way less units. Half the population of Almirante. Almirante is going to hit hard and fast and then throw skits onto everything and just push him. And these two pads in the middle probably barely just got done paying for themselves. Probably barely going to pay for the mini base. So this will just be a net zero for Hatch and he wasted his time buying this. He could have put that money towards something else. A big loss there. He's gonna, he's, he's got to get units out. He will be behind if he's not careful. <clears throat> and one, one Goliath's already running off. The job is done. Mini base goes down. That's a lot of XP for, for Almirantes there. But Hetchy's actually ahead of XP still. A lot more mini bases. And Almirante's buying a hunter captain. Will we see it from Hetchy? No hunter captain. Just one barracks and skit. Hetchy usually likes to do double barracks and just send stuff all over the place. But we're seeing a different Hetchy these games, I think. Yeah. He's just got a lot of idle units. He's got to utilize his all route, his global rally point. The locals are killing him, I think, this game. Goliath should tear him apart here. Losing his only Goliath on offense and hitting his mini base hit. He's going to defend this one, though, for sure. No one's rebought middle yet. But Amarante's just taking his time. He's getting his hunter captain out, getting the upgrade, getting skitterers out. I think Almirante's position is still more powerful. But it's still relatively even. But this Hunter Captain will eventually be a problem for Hetchy. I think he's going to go up to the middle and these garrisons can be super potent. So much idling from, from Hetchy. He's, he feels so scattered. He's really not paying attention, I think. I'm just not sure what this play is. I, it's, there's no way that's a good use of your troops there. This chopper just... What? <laughs> he's actually hiding, but I think Almirante might accidentally spot them. I think he sent it to hold ground for this mini base, but he's going to accidentally highlight them. Yep, Almirante sees. Or maybe maybe he saw them. That must have been just to spot them, I guess. I guess he knew it was there then. And we got a lot of troops here, but I think Hetchy can defend this. I think he has enough. And we have a Goliath drop from Almirante. Hetchy is still out from third point. We do have Engineer Swarm for sure, I think. Someone should drop that. Hetchy's going to have to if he wants to win this fight. He bought vehicle symbiotes for his choppers. Unbelievable. Is that a misclick? That must be a misclick, right? Is that on purpose? That's crazy. Hunter Captain's countering the Goliaths over there. I think Hetchy's dead. I mean, no Engineer Swarm is just a, just a bad pick to me, I think. It's such a good power. Yeah, Hetchy lost, I mean, both sides. I mean, he lost it. He's trying to do some offense. That got countered. Then he barely won this here, but some more choppers came in as Y, and another Goliath came. He's barely going to win this over here. Is actually double gen yet? No double gen. What about Almirante? No double gen. This is very strange. This hunter captain should be on the front, I think. It's so slow and it's so powerful. It's been wasting so much of its time. It's like a $700 buy of energy just to sit here and counter something that another unit could have done just as well. This is a underutilization of this hunter captain here, I think. I think it could have been much more potent on the front lines up there on this mini base or on this on this garrison or pushing the main and defending a goliath drop you know something something more useful than just idling on a mini base could have been better 
And Almirante's overbuying Chopper now. He's going to counter this Goliath play, I think. Especially with this Hunter Captain to back it up. No one is double genning. I mean, we're going to be tech one for a while. We got one from Almirante now. And Hetchy has vehicle symbiote. I mean, what is that going to do here? He's got it again. I don't know what he's going to throw it on. I think Hetchy has drop himself. He's going to drop it over here, maybe. But Almirante is going for a big push. He probably has his drop back almost. Going to do a big main hit, I bet. Has Hetchy bought turrets? Nope. Watchtower defense again. Refuses to buy turrets every game, despite the other games that clearly costing him. He has not adjusted his play yet. Big hit. I think Hetchy can push this, actually. Maybe he grabbed... No, he doesn't have Engineer Swarm, so he's... We'll see what happens here. There's some Engineers from Almirante with skits on them. That'll definitely help a lot. And Colony drop his back. He's near dropping it in over here, I think, on, on Hetchy's base. He might be able to just aim main. There's nothing here preventing him. And I, I have a question about the rules. Just to reiterate, it is a uh, no no leader repeat beat, uh, but that's all. There's no rules besides that. Even node strat is allowed for this series. So, Where is the Goliath drop? Did he, did he drop it at home? Was he that scared? I can't believe he sees this and doesn't do a Goliath drop. And he drops it defensively. I, I can't believe that from Almirante. Did he just not see? This is a clear game-ending uh, opportunity here, I think. I mean, there's nothing to defend. Absolutely nothing. Hetsy's getting more done here than I think he should be. Hetchy is x and I think that's ridiculous. That'll probably get countered here. <laughs> I highly doubt Almirante allows that to happen. Gets a mini base kill, and Almirante's tech two. Hetchy is just just now getting tech two, yeah. But he's gonna lose his generator. Getting another node, so that'll be helpful. But he actually backs off. He doesn't get it yet. He killed the generator for Almirante, but it's not that big of a deal. It's just four watchtower, three, one turret. Here we go. <clears throat> this hunter captain is just sitting here for free on the base. It's absolutely crazy. He might do a brand. I feel like we'll see what he grabs. Fourth point. Maybe we'll grab teleport or brand. Generator on the expo. He's going to have to do something about this Hunter Captain eventually. I think Goliath Drop is almost probably back in circulation, and he will do a big main hit. And we have a lot of skit choppers roaming around the map. That one Goliath coming in. He's got it. He's got to deal with that. He took a giant brand, lost every single unit there. Hetchy just got absolutely clean. 12 pop versus 61 and a Hunter Captain. And that is a Tech 2 Hunter Captain now. And I highly suspect any second we'll see Goliath Trump come back up. And he already got Vet 1. So he may have got that Veterancy Power or it might just be a natural Vet 1. He's killed a lot of units for sure. And Hetchy's just in trouble. I mean, totally got wiped on Almy's main for a gen push. And now he's... Now he's dead. Yeah, and he resigns. And, and Goliath Drop had just came back, too. So he was he was in trouble there. And Hetchy resigns. And Almirante takes game number four. And this is a best of seven, so we're on match point now. Almirante only needs one more win to close out the series. We're going to go to Vault. You gotta launch a board in the play. Just have to see the map. <laughs> and I suspect we'll either see uh, Cutter or Forge from Almirante. He still has both of those leaders to go. He's played his less confident leaders. He'll definitely pick one of them here, I think, and close out the series, unless he wants to go for style points here.
And Amarante's locked in. Hetchy probably debating what he wants to go. I don't think Hetchy feels particularly confident with his forge. And he does have Yap Yap. He could go. It's a decent leader for this map. Trox can be good here, but I don't think Hetchy likes... He's super confident with his Trox. Could go RB. It's just it's a tough one here. Forge or Cutter would be very hard to combat here. This really strong. And Hetchy is really hesitating here to to lock in his leader. He's not sure what he wants yet. All right. In the blue corner here, we have Almirante 99. He's leading the series 3-1. to one. And he will be going Johnson. And he's been playing Johnson more recently, but I wouldn't expect it on Vault. This is a big map, and Johnson doesn't have Warthog. So a little bit, a little bit of a mobility issue here. Manus can be a problem, but uh, it's a pretty solid leader still here, I think. So. And I think Almirante just wants to, to play more with this leader, get more practice with it. He's liking the Johnson these days. And we have El Hechi Zero here in the red going generator first. And he's going as Atriox. And I think Atriox does pretty good versus Johnson. Out of all the Banish to be, I think that's a pretty solid one to be here. So he has a good opportunity to win this game. And the Rabbit's coming across. Will we see some harassment? No wiggling from the Rabbit. Just going to steal the power and back off. Because uh, usually the Chopper is what keeps that from happening. But has he... Pretty notoriously does not open Chopper. He likes the double grunt play. It's what he does a lot. Just gobbles up a lot of resources and buys your mini bases. Armory fourth from Hetchy. So very early chosen. But we see a barracks on this mini base. Um, he's getting a good amount of power pickup, so he can actually afford it. Uh, the problem with Armory 4th is it's hard to afford a lot, but with this, he should be good. Chosen's buy. I, he's going Barracks, so we're going for a very aggressive cheese. Uh, Johnson's hard to hard to rush. He's got Siphon turrets, and he has a bunker, so if he gets any, you know, minimal amount of units out, he can probably hold. Um, he'll probably be okay, uh, but not if Almirante buys this many mini bases this quickly. I mean, this is a lot. Of real estate here we're talking two single minis and a double mini where that's amounting to what 700 supplies so a lot of blue double barracks from from hetchy and the chosen's out gonna get the upgrade here in a second very early chosen usually you see like a 245 chosen with an armory fifth but we're seeing a 219 chosen on an armory four so very fast gonna hit hard and early with this jump pack brute count almirante sees it though and he dropped a bunker prematurely to hit it with flamers and rabbit but, man, if, if, if Hetchy just ignores this, it's going to be a problem from Almirante. Will we see a turret? He's got a lot of money, actually. A lot of money. Two upgraded heavy pads. Buys a barracks. See the double barracks back. If Hetchy takes time to headbutt this, I think he's in trouble. I think he needs to, to do something dangerous here and hit the main. I don't think he should overly concern himself with this. It looks like that's what he's doing. If he can hit this main before a turret gets up, he's in he's in he's in good shape here. But that turret is now coming up. He's got a 20 second timer and those siphons. So you have to have like two or three JPBs on it, and one or two of those to just to overcome the siphons. You really have to overkill these turrets. And do we have CM and plasma mines? I'd like to see that. We do have countermeasures, so I suspect plasma mines will be here too. That could be good to gatekeep off this area. The Johnson is out. Like I said, Johnson is hard to rush. The bunker will surely be back here in a moment. There's a siphon turret already up. Bar Double barracks, armory turret. This is hard to push. I mean, he had to hit faster than this. It's not over yet. He, he, he still has lots of options. There's a lot of brutes out, but it's going to get tough quickly. People really underestimate Johnson these days. See, he can really be quite a number to mess with. Here comes the plaza mines. Hopefully he can jump on the bunker. 
Did a good stun. Good hit. This is how you take out these two bunkers. You hit them hard, you hit them fast, and you neutralize them before they are a threat. Great hit. Great kill. Solid kill. Great pressuring from Hetchy there. Neutralizes the bunker. Kills the Johnson hero. And kills the sniper inside. But unfortunately, he didn't pay attention. He lost his chosen. He didn't have to. But uh, it's a good hit. I think he needs to back up, though, and just take that win. Because these two turrets are not going to be pushable. Remember, they are siphon turrets. They heal themselves. It's so hard to overcome that damage tech one. Uh, with snipers on your back, too, it's going to be difficult. He'd be in a good spot if Hetsy was able to multitask a little better. If he was, during that hit, sending JPBs off to here, sending JPBs off to here... He probably could have won in at least two out of three of those areas. But because he's he's tunnel visioning on one spot, it's making it difficult. Hetchy just had to be in more places at once. I mean, Almirante only has to defend one spot. And it's the easiest spot to defend. I mean, right where his Siphon Turrets are at is easy home base defense. I think Hetchy is really messing up here. He's giving Almirante a huge, generous fight. He's going to wipe Hetchy. Lost so many Brutes for nothing. And the Johnson hero is back out. So he's in danger now. He really needed to split off earlier. Start hitting in more areas. And I am out of fluids. I need more drinks, guys. <laughs> My mouth's going dry. Having trouble pronouncing words. <clears throat> uh, good chopper transition to get rid of these flamers a bit. He does not have the upgrade for the Johnson yet, but it's coming in now. Good hits on this mini base. If a sniper gets out, he's in trouble, but I think he should still kill it. It's three jump pack brutes already there. Good plasma mines here. And these units wasted a lot of time. They went up here, and then they went back. So, Amarante really is going to lose map control here quickly, actually. Crazy. Amarante's going to be put on one mini base. So, had she got control of the situation, despite that really, you know, blunderous push there, I think, at the start. Luckily, he has snipers in this army, so he didn't run to these plasma mines. See what it eaten those mines, and that was actually a perfect angle from Hetchy there. I mean, that would have been a complete walkover splash, so uh, good placement from Hetchy. Unfortunately, the snipers had to tech there, so wasn't a good connection. Lots of JPBs hitting over here. I think this is a fruitless push. It shouldn't get much done. There's, everything's here to defend. But it's okay. Hetch is gaining huge map gains here. Do we have a double gen yet? Four upgraded pads. He has still not picked up this back mini, though. He's got to take time to do that. Double barracks still up. And Amarante has double gen, but he is far from tech 2, actually. He is spending a lot of money on Sniper and, and uh, an Expo and an upgraded Johnson hero. He's going to be a while till he's tech 2. Hetchy has a lot of room here to make something happen. He should, he should really try to get big really quickly here. He's got a lot of map. He bought some suicide grinds. I like that. That should help stun the bunkers a bit. This is actually quite killable, I think, if he keeps pumping on a double barracks like that. EMP Mac is always in the play, of course. I don't think Almirante went bunker level 2, or he will go bunker level 2. It's, he hasn't yet, but I don't think he will on this next point. But we will see what he goes for. The Suicide Grunts are here, but they shouldn't go in yet. He needs the Jump Pack Brutes in tandem. This is going to be pointless on their own. Unless he just wants to hit that infantry over there. But the Johnson here is coming over. The Expo is built. No buildings on it yet. Hetchy's taking nose, but just with Jump Pack Brutes. I mean, it's allowed. No shots allowed here, but... Man, it's not really <laughs> effective. <laughs> I guess he gets the nodes. Chosen should not come out. He should delete that. It's just going to die, I think. Unless he bought Teleport, which he could have. But you're spending 200 power just to get a 200 power cost to leer out. Kind of kind of ridiculous to me, but... Yeah, it's so much power just to get a leader out. I could just rebought one with that much money. <laughs> but he gets it out. Blows Teleport for it. He didn't want to have to wait another minute to get the leader out, so I guess that was his... Was his rationale there. Hopefully, Hetchy decides to expo her soon. I mean, this expo wherever here is completely safe, miles from the battlefield. I mean, no way Almirante threatens this for a long time. So this would have been clean to pick up a while ago, I think, if Hetchy had just taken the time to do so uh, alongside with his mini base. I mean, not having this mini base every second is costing him resources. So he's got to take some time, double back, and just you know get the things done. You got to do. You got to 
You gotta play snappy. You gotta you gotta do everything. You can't be sloppy. You gotta stay on top of the macro. And Amarante is tech two with a foundry or what is that? Garage coming up. I can't remember which one's the banished one, which one's the you're gonna see ever these days. <laughs> And Plaza Mines goes down, but I think the Johnson army is pretty strong here. Probably hard for the Trox to fight until he has more Tech 2 units online. Big Suey coming in. Got a lot of units far away. And Expo for Hetty, but it's right in the front here. I don't like that. It's a little more dangerous, but it should be okay either way. Johnson healing the bunker back up. You get Scorch round, so Tech 2 chosen is here, but Amarante's got a big old Expo online. He's got double garage going and an air pad, so he's going to get a Mantis Knight go ball going. And this is usually how Hetchy loses his games. Eventually, someone gets an army big enough and powerful enough and just starts to headbutt him and takes centralized formation fights. And eventually, he starts to crumble to that. So it's all about if Hetchy can get enough done around the map and, and play counter hits. But with these siphon turrets, my guess is Hetchy's going to struggle to get any meaningful hits on anyone. And he's going to try to avoid this army as long as he can until it's too big. So I think he should just scrap that idea and try to take on these, these manas while they're weak and small. I mean, he has lead. He has a tech lead. He's held the map for a while. He should really just try to keep the Johnson weak and keep the army small. Take head-on engagements. Keep your lead. But I think he's just going to try to avoid it as he usually does. See, he just he tries to do this jump back group play, and I think it's just not going to work. It's going to headbutt a bunch of super broken turrets that are not going to fall, and then this army is just going to get bigger and bigger until it's out of control for Hetchy. And he's got to adjust his play in some of these matchups. I think I think he lets the the same things keep him down some of these games. He plays fantastic sometimes, right? Hetchy plays fantastic. He gets these great leads. I mean, Johnson was powerful there, right? He got a Johnson kill. He killed the bunker. He took all three mini bases. He took the map from Johnson. You know, the world was his oyster there, and he he lost it. He he loses his grip a lot, and he needs to maintain that that power and control over his opponent. He just he doesn't clench down hard enough. He he lets him gain back too much ground, and he avoids him for too long, trying the same old Tech 1 jump pack brutes hits when it's just not the play anymore. Chosen's a little bit of danger here. He needs to needs to get out of there. And yeah, here it comes, a jump pack brute hit. It's not, it's not going to do anything, though. There's Nightingales out now. There's three turrets. There's no way this kills more than one building at most, if even that. He's got to get an army up. I, 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 I'm betting it now that this, this kills no units, or no buildings. Unless Almirante throws his only smoke away. Okay, here comes the Erad. He'll kill two gens here probably then. That's a big base strip, huge strip, and that will hurt Johnson's eco a lot, but I think Almirante has free buildings now. Um, so he can replace these uh, with a lot more care. It's still a hit, right, because the real cost of not having... The real cost of those hits is not the fact that the buildings are free. It's the time that the buildings are down, right? So right now, he has no gens up, and that's what's costing him. And he has to upgrade them again, which aren't free. Uh, but he does have the free building, so it helps him get back online and reconstruct a lot quicker. Uh, but again, that was that was a relatively ineffective hit. I think the amount of money Almirante's losing here is probably about as much as that ERAD cost and those jump pack brutes cost. I don't think it's going to put him out of commission for very long. And he's an ERAD down now. And now he's just going to walk across the map and, and push. And Hetchy's going to be in trouble. He's, he's getting hunters out. Getting some engineers out, but it's 45 pop to 80. He's, he's definitely in trouble. <clears throat> it's a good hit, but, you know, when you throw away armies for that, you throw away expensive leader powers. I mean, Erad is, what, 1,000 power, 1,000 resources? That is money. That is expensive. That could have been a tech 3 for you, right? You know, there's a cost to everything. You have to you have to weigh out that. And these manises are getting big. It's going to be hard for him to take any real engagements. It's not like Warthogs where hunters can counter. I mean, manises really can just headbutt the anti-vehicle very effectively. He can go mech overcharge. Johnson can use his heal. It's very difficult to fight these manis once they get online. And there's a restoration drone from Almirante. I think Hetchy's going to get killed here. Here's the glassing beam. Does he have mech overcharge? Yep, there's the mech overcharge. Exactly what I'm talking about. Very hard to really take on a real engagement with these manas. I mean, they just they just wipe everything. And Hetchy loses the chosen. Too late of a teleport. 
and the army is all but dead pretty much I and mean, there's a few survivors here but Almirante is booming he's he has a third up and built I'm sure he has three buildings right yeah the four gens he he's good to go he's got four generators three nodes he'll upgrade every pad he'll pump manis he's got a hundred pop already upgraded Hetchy's on 80 pop and he says okay I'm playing bad yeah Hetchy you should Hetchy's got to review his footage here see what he did wrong because I think he had a good position there but he just let it slip it's not over yet he still could do something Trox is a great leader you know formidable opponent to to Johnson here but really difficult now I mean he is tech 3 he could get a tech 3 chosen out could get some tech 3 hunters maybe some wraith reaver it's just going to be difficult though for sure especially without forward upgrades and this base is not upgraded still oh my gosh I can't believe he put a generator over there that's crazy that's his fourth who puts a fourth generator on a mini like that that is so crazy That is very brazen to do. And the problem is, here's what's going to happen. By the time he gets enough hunters out to finally commit to a fight, Mech Overcharge will be back on cooldown. And he'll just take a big fight again and win again. Hetchy cannot delay between leader powers. When Mech Overcharge is blown, he has to hit constantly and aggressively. He cannot keep doing big buildups and waiting for these big fights. Johnson will just completely crush him over and over. He's got to stay on top of this. And that hunter pretty much just suicided over here. Will we see a chosen back out? We're seeing blister backs and we're seeing a scarab being built. Scarab is actually good here. I think that will actually be scary for Johnson to deal with. Uh, but he's got to use it well, and EMP Mac can, can stun it a bit too. Hopefully, he gets a tech 3 chosen with this and he gets his base upgraded. And yeah, that should be pretty scary. Manus are, are relatively weak to the scarab because they're slow, so the scarab can actually catch it. It's not like hogs. And they're not quite Colossus yet. They don't have their Tech 3 upgrade yet. He could be getting it now. And I don't, I don't know if he has any Garage upgrade yet. If he has Vehicle Level 1, that'll definitely pose a bigger threat to the Scarab. But as for right now, Hedgie's okay. He's in an okay spot. I think he can still make something happen, but it's going to have to be quick and right as the Scarab comes out. And he's going to have to really take a clean fight. Uh, without that, I think, I think it's game over for Hedgie. He's got to play his cards here right now correctly I like the double armory <clears throat> base it's upgraded Almirante has 4k in the bank though so even if he gets wiped he should be able to afford another army again shield coming up it looks like yeah oh, should not let this Johnson get this garrison over him level 2 bunkers out almost catches the snipers but it wasn't a tech 3 chosen so it didn't kill him Scarab is out. Manus is around the high ground. That shield will actually get up now. Uh, I don't know why Almirante walked around like that. <laughs> Could have engaged more directly. Here's the Scarab. Almirante sees it. He's worried he's got to back up. He sees that. But now Almirante is buying bases all over the map. He's, he's overwhelming Hedgy. The Scarab can only be in one spot at once. I think Hedgy's got to hit hard now, though he cannot delay. Looks like we're getting reinforcements. Will we see a chosen upgrade? Does he have it already? That looks like a tech 3 chosen, I think. I think that's tech 3. Yeah, that's totally a tech 3 chosen. And here he comes. Scary fight. Big beam. That's good. Forces the mech overcharge. Good nightingale smoke from Almirante. Totally stops all the DPS here. Great engagement from Almirante. Mech overcharge is burned now. Hetchy probably has E-Rad. He might try to trap his opponent in like a wedge here and get an E-Rad off. That could be super effective. And Almirante's going... Whew, Almirante's got to be careful. If he engages in the wrong spot, there's no mech overcharge to get out. Wow, Almirante's getting, getting killed here. Great push by Hetchy. This is exactly what he needs to get back into this game. This is great. He actually could beat him to this expo, maybe. And there's no Nightingales to smoke right now. He might just be able to... Air Upgrade 2 coming in, so these Vultures are going to get scared quick. He's got to hit. 
Hopefully he starts getting some vehicle upgrades up. Start hitting this expo. Gonna get out of control quickly. Too many generators from Almirante. He already has five. You don't need any more. That's, that's plenty. You need pads. You need more blue, I think. Although he has 6k, so he's doing okay. Hetchy should probably back off. This looks like a little bit too much. I think Hetchy has a, has trouble saying no to a push sometimes. He he just goes all in and throws the game. Here comes an Erad probably. Big Erad. Great job from Hetchy. The entire army is caught. Amazing hit by Hetchy there. Absolutely amazing play there. EMP Mac comes down. That will put the Scarab in a stun for a bit with no bubble. Good recovery from Almirante here. Good counter. But that was a great hit by Hetchy. I don't think it's enough, though. I think he still needs to get out of here. The Scarab will probably go down. There's just a t little bit too much here, I think. But that's a big army wipe for, for Hetchy there. Definitely very powerful. I think the Scarab's going to go down, though. Does he have the bubble back yet? It's not quite back. Do we have a bulwark? Does he have any engineers coming? We have the bubble back here in just a second. Here comes the bubble. He uses the bubble. We have an engineer right here coming in hot. He's got to move the scarab. He's got to move it. Oh, the scarab's so close to dying. Oh. <laughs> I think it dies anyways, but that's so close. It's it's heartbreaking to see, actually. Hetty had an amazing push here. That Chosen is going to do quite a bit of work. Hopefully, Hedge... I mean, this base is so vulnerable. I wish he would just buy, like, one Wraith and just send it over there. I mean, he could really put Almirante in a corner here. He's just not multitasking enough. He's got to keep, he's, he's keep his head in the game. He's getting boxed in. He's not thinking outside the box enough, I think, like we see Hedge usually do. Hedge's often in multiple places at once playing dynamically. We're, we're seeing him play stagnant, I think. It's, it's a little disheartening to see. I think... I think Hetchy on top of his game would be on top of all this mini stuff over here, on top of these nodes, on top of that expo. But we're just seeing him play in one place at a time. I think it's a little ineffective from him. He's... I want to check on my stream, make sure it's still playing. Sometimes it closes. I had a bug with that one, so that was super annoying. Looks like it's good. And that's a two-star chosen, super annoying to deal with. But Almirante is huge now. This is when Johnson gets truly scary. Uh, free buildings, pretty much practically an unlimited eco at this point. And he's got great units. He's got Colossus for ground, so he has a tank option, unlike a lot of other UNSC. And he has Manus to help debuff, Manus to help filler in for mech overcharge, some kind of unit thinking that can use invincibility for fights. And then he also has a Vulture uh, capability. And it looks like he's going full ground. He's going to mount a giant ground force here and go across the map. This base will surely get taken down, I think. But hopefully Hetchy just responds accordingly, takes out this base as well. It's getting big, though. This is what I mean. This is what I was thinking about Hetchy, for, by Almirante earlier, right? At the time, he had a lot of blue, but one bad fight, one repop, and you'll realize how quickly your blue actually goes with Johnson. I mean, I think a full Vulture army takes 12,000 blue. So even though you have 6,000 blue, it's not as much as it seems. It's just because you're not losing units. The second you start really actively trading in and getting into combat, you get poor fast. So you got to watch those blue levels. Don't overbuy generators. You don't need nine generators. You know, you're not banished. You're not buying a whole lot of counter units. It's, it's usually excessive. Four or five is usually good as UNSC. Just needs to upgrade more pads and make sure he has a giant blue count. That's that's all Morante's priority here, I think. Jumpback roots are playing around the map, but Hetchy is uh, getting a scary spot here. It starts to be at this point, I think Johnson's a lot better, especially off of a big bank like that.